Hello, everybody. Say hi, guys. Hi. I'm take, I took a piece of grass and I'm trying to do something. Oh, yes. Maybe we can do that later. Right now, we are going to do a science experiment. Are you guys excited? Kind of. Kind of. You're a little uh, nervous? Does he make it all green? That's okay to be nervous. Hey. We're going to do our science experiment now, and our science experiment is not pulling grass out of the ground, <laughs> no matter what color it is. Okay? So, for our science experiment, we are going to use sand. So, we have a big container of sand right here. Um, Rain, can you stick your finger in the sand, please? Poke, poke a hole in it right there. Good. Now, Winifred, can you poke a hole in it there? Good. Clark, can you poke a hole in it there? Right in the middle. Good. So what we got to do is we've got to make a dent in it, a crater. Yeah, you did it. And so that is where we're going to put our ingredients. In a science experiment, you would, you would call it our chemicals. Sit down. Sit down. Yeah. Sit down. So the first thing that we need is alcohol. Yes. Alcohol. Isopropyl this is alcohol. This, I think this is the 3D one. This one's 91%. So we cannot and touch so that And so this one. this is what is going to catch on fire. So this is what is going to start our chemical reaction, our experiment, and so it, we would call it our starter. Funny, huh? Yeah. So we need to wet our sand. Rain, can you wet our sand for us? So our sand is now wet. It looks like beach sand now. We lost our dent, so. Oh, wait, good. Well, do you guys recognize this stuff? Yeah. What is this stuff used for? Our other science experiment, and it's most disgusting. Yes, yeah, we did use it in a science experiment. But if you remember in that next science experiment, I talked about how uh, we use this to clean cuts and wounds and stuff. So this is safe to touch, not safe to drink. If you have an open cut, like you got some cuts from falling or something, you put this on, it would clean it. It would hurt, but it would clean it good. And so there we have that. Oh, and I should probably say that we also have our, what is this called, Clark? Thingy in the bob. Thingy in the bob. Otherwise known as a fire extinguisher. And so when you're doing experiments with fire, it's important to be safety first. And so hold on, hold your horses, pumpkin. So we have our fire extinguisher and we have safety glasses to keep us safe. Oh okay, wait, so now our other chemicals are baking soda and powdered sugar. So Clark, can you do that and then flatten it out and do four scoops of it in our little crater? One. Two, three, four. Good. So we'll just. Put that in there. Oh, wait. Now, when can you put a scoop? A baking soda in there. Oh, I I I bought those powdered. Good I, job. I, I, so I we'll bought that with powdered sugar and it's always baking soda. Mix but, that all around. This is powdered and that's baking soda. Okay. Sit down. Oh, wait. Now you, you now Clark, you sit here. Rain, you sit here. Hey. Nope, stay there. Stay there. 
no, don't sit in my lap right now. And we will see if what I wanted to do works. Okay? Kind of. All right. I'll move this a little bit. Move this back to me. All right. Oh, for one. Don't don't put a don't put something hot on the grass. Cuz we don't want to use our fire extinguisher. Well, we got we got a little bit of a reaction there, but Is it supposed to burn up? There's not much going on yet. You got little bits of stuff happening. Can you guys see black stuff coming? Can you smell anything? What's being burned off right now is the sugar. It smells like marshmallows. We're going. I can, I can see stuff happening. Can you see stuff happening? You can kind of see a little bit of fire there. Look, 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 look. You can see it growing now. Do you see it growing? Yeah, so the sugar is being burned off. That's why you could smell something sweet. And what we get out of that is um, is carbon. And so we needed to get something high off the ground. Yes, carbon up. So that... Sit down beside your brother and you can watch from there. Smells good. Mm-hmm. Smells like burnt marshmallows. And so you guys see that stuff popping up? Well, the fire will burn itself out when there's nothing left to burn. So we see the stuff growing. So this this worked. They're they're just little ones instead of um, one really big one. But they worked. Stuff grew, right? So that's kind of cool. And so what I thought we would talk quickly about. Um, is about something that the Bible talks about that needs to grow inside of us. Can you think of something that would need to grow inside of us? It's actually does smell like marshmallows. Cool, huh? I want to eat it. It's definitely not something that you can eat. Once, uh, once the, the fire is all done, you can touch the black things, but you definitely can't eat it. Because it is not burnt marshmallows. Daddy, it's, it's carbon, and you can't eat carbon. That'll make you sick. Like we'll, we'll, we'll see. So why don't, why don't I just then tell you what, uh, what is inside of us that the Bible talks about needing to grow. Okay. And that would be our faith. Who do we have faith in? And like my friend Faith. Yeah, but your friend Faith does not live inside of you. Yeah. That would, that would be weird. I know, it's just... The exact same names. Yes. So, do you, you know who we have faith in, Clark? Who are we supposed to believe in? Your friends and your family. Yeah. But what important person that died on the cross that we should have faith in? Jesus. And so, just like how we saw this grow, the faith inside of us needs to grow. Can you guys? Get too close because the fire is still there. You can't really see it, but the fire is still there. And so we have faith in Jesus, and that faith is supposed to grow. It's pretty windy. Just so like that. And it probably will go up soon. And we did a science experiment, right? And a science experiment, what happens in there, we call it a chemical reaction. And so it's, it's two things are reacting together. Can you think of what word do you hear in the word reacting yeah. or reaction? Well, like action. Exactly, like action. Action is like doing something, yeah. right? Like if you're making a movie and the director says action, you do something, yeah. right? Yeah. And so action is about doing something. And yeah. did you know that James had our, Jesus had a brother? What? His name was James. 
Yes, Jesus had a family. Does he have a sister? And so Jesus had a brother named James. Uh, yes. And what James wrote about in the Bible is that he talks about our faith having action, our faith doing stuff. And so, and so, yeah, it's pretty well out. And so just like we had a chemical reaction here, it's not quite hard yet, but you guys can touch it. No. This is this hot. No. Otherwise it wouldn't be in my hand. And so just like our just like our chemical reaction here good. did something. Get it you can move your face to it to smell it, but don't like bring it up to your face. Um, our faith is supposed to have action. Our faith is supposed to do stuff. And so James talks about being doers not just hearers. And so it's like how you're told rules from your parents and you can you, you can hear them, but we don't know that you're listening unless you actually follow them, unless you actually do them, right? And so it's, it's just like that. Other people aren't going to know that we have faith, that we believe in Jesus, unless they can see us do stuff. And so we do stuff to show people that we believe in Jesus and maybe that'll help them believe in Jesus too. Cool? Yeah. So we saw a reaction when things mix together there. And when the Holy Spirit gives us faith, it reacts in us and causes us to do stuff too. Neato, huh? All right, so that's it. That's all for our science experiment video. I hope you guys liked it. If you wanna try it at home, uh, remember you need sand, you need powdered sugar, you need baking soda. It's four parts powdered sugar to one part baking soda. And you need some sort of flammable liquid, like a lighter fluid. We used uh, rubbing alcohol, because we've got tons of that right now, and a match just to light that up. Make sure that you're doing it safely though. Make sure you're doing it with a grown-up supervising. Make sure that you are wearing some sort of eyewear to protect your eyes, because that's very important. And make sure that you have a fire extinguisher around as well whenever you're doing experiments with fire. It is important to be safe. So thanks for tuning us today, but there's one more thing that I wanted to talk to you guys about today. Uh, do you know anything about the big give? Have you ever been a part of the Big Give at Parkway before or any other church? The Big Give is a really fantastic initiative where churches from around Ottawa, from around Ontario and beyond into Canada come together and love on their community, uh, giving things away, doing things for free. It's all about serving just like Jesus did. And so while that is going to look a little bit different this year, we are still doing it and we need your help. And so there are three ways that you and your family can get involved with the Big Give at Parkway this year. Uh, check our website and our Facebook page and the newsletters that you receive if you receive them to learn more about those. But there's one in particular that I wanted to mention to the kids today and that is because it's about making cards. The Osgood Care Center is a uh, long-term care facility close to our church and we want to be able to love on the residents that are there that maybe are experiencing a little bit of loneliness or frustration like some of us are because they can't really have any visitors right now and so we are going to make cards for them we are going to send messages of encouragement and love and show them that we care drawing them pictures whatever you want to do we need lots of cards and so we need your help getting those done and then they can be dropped off at the church and then on june 6th the day that the big give was going to be and still is i am going to drop those off there myself and let you guys know how much they cared about them and then once this is all done uh we're going to do a giant pizza party for the staff there and so i need you to make some cards Make as many cards as you like, make as many cards as you can, get those dropped off in the mailbox outside of Parkway, and we will be able to ship those off to you. Thanks for joining us in this initiative. If you want to learn more about the Aussie Care Center or uh, the other two initiatives that we are doing, the Contactless Food Drive and loving on uh, the Greeley Foodland, then head to our website or head to our Facebook page to learn about those. Thanks for watching this video. Hope you had fun. Let us know if you tried it or what you thought about this video in the comments below. Give us a like. And if you want us to do any other cool science experiments that maybe you know you saw on YouTube before or you've done yourself, 
we would love to do them. And so shoot us a message and do that. And hopefully we will see you guys on Sunday. All right. Oh, and don't forget, uh, tomorrow is Friday. And this is our last Find It, find it Friday of May. And so we have a really tight race. We have some ties right now. And so I suggest that everybody get those in before Saturday night so that we can have a winner to get our prize. You are going to find out who the winner is and what the prize is this Sunday. Bye guys.